white flag raised, off and running over two miles in the Close Brothers Mare's listed novice hurdle, nine flights to jump, it's only by night, got glory, close up is Lucy Wang, Mare's walk jumps up to the three, and gone some few strides after the flight, the top mare implicit. Getting up is Brian Hayes. On they go towards the second flight and it's Mare's Walk, just forging on in front from only by night. Handy's Miss Augusta, followed by Got Glory. Coming down there was Molly's Mango, just after passing the winning post. Messy beginnings as they jump the second flight, and it's Miss Augusta joining issue with Mare's Walk. On the inside is only by night, and Lucy Wang got glory. Casa Nomento is next, attempting to get up as Paul O'Brien. Uphill to number three, it's Miss Augusta, Mare's Walk, being followed by only by night, got glory. Lucy Wang, Kilberry Saint, not far off the leaders. As they race over the mound to go downhill towards the fourth flight. Miss Augusta, Mare's Walk only by night got glory. Lucy Wang followed out wide by Cast a Spell. Paul Bryan has got to his feet. Well off them at the back of the field is Caracol. Going towards the fourth. Matching strides, Mare's Walk, Miss Augusta. Length in front of only by night and Lucy Wang. Cast a Nomento. On the outside is Cast a Spell followed by Got Glory who's been shuffled back. Then Kilbarry Saint and began. Spindleberry on the outside of Theatre Native. And towards the inside is Edis Emery with me, we, Bonnie Lass. It's the field compacts, turning to head into the back straight. In the lead, but only just Miss Augusta from Mare's Walk, then Lucy Wang only by night. After them is Cast a Spell and Kilbarry Saint and Casano Mento, a couple of lengths to begin. Then Got Glory and Theatre Native next with Edis Emery. Spendleberry, me, we, Bonnie Lass, the final couple. Down the far side they go, they're just outside halfway. Another five flights left to jump. And this is the Close Brothers Mare's listed novice hurdle. Miss Augusta, just with the edge from Mare's Walk and Lucy Wang. Out wide is Cast a Spell, followed by only by Night Castle Nomento up the inside, then Kilbaddy Saint, followed by Theatre Native. Heading towards the last on the far side, this is four flights from the finish. Mare's Walk rejoins. Miss Augusta Spendlebury almost came down there, but found the leg, now not back to last. As they race up to the final five furlongs, Mare's Walk from Miss Augusta only by night. On the inside, inching through, is Carson Nomento, followed round the bend by Cast a Spell. Kilberry Saint, Theatre Native, is taking closer order as they head for the third last flight. Mare's Walk with only by night, improving one out from the rail. Then Lucy Wang, Carson Nomento, Theatre Native, Kilberry Saint, and Got Glory, and then Iris Emery. Cast a spell, fade. So, too, dropping away is Miss Augusta. Then Me Wee Bonnie Last, Pagan, and Spindleberry will have to come round them all as they come towards the second last. It's a wave of three. Mare's Walk joined by both only by night and Carson Nomento. Two lengths off them and four. There's Got Glory, then Lucy Wang, Kilberry Saint, and Iris Emery. Then Theatre Native, Spindleberry is next, then Me Wee Bonnie Last. As they turn into the straight with one flight left to jump, and it's only by night and Sean Flanagan joined one from the rail by Casson Nomento and Sam Twist and Davis making ground around the two is Got Glory and Danny Mullins as these three go well clear of Spindleberry and then Kilberry Saint followed the final flight by Mewee Bonnie Larson Mears Walk and Casson Nomento leads coming down to the final flight it's the English runner Casson Nomento over the last from Got Glory within a couple of lengths leaving behind only by night inside the final 150 yards it's Casson Nomento all out from Got Glory. There's a length and a half between them, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. Casano Mento for Sam and Nigel Twist and Davis sees off Got Glory. Well cleared of only by night. Me wee Bonnie Lars. Spendlebury is fifth. So it's another British trained winner here at the Punchestown Festival. Casano Mento has really dug deep there on the run in to fend off the challenge of Got Glory in a race where again we had a fair share of incident on the way around winner returns at 4-1 to one, certainly not neglected in the market and Nigel Twiston Davis no stranger to success here at the Punchestown Festival over the years on the mark again, good to see Paul O'Brien up okay after that nasty incident where Molly's Mango came down on the flat we lost implicit at the first and Ruby were uh, already at this stage, I'm just trying to 
pick up Spindlebury. Has the mistake happened at this stage? It has, I think, I think hasn't it? Are we up the side to the second last year? No, no, we're halfway down the back because Scott Glory's there too far back there. Four out. Uh, She's actually run well jumped. in the circumstances. She has nibbled the turf. She got jumped out handy down the inside, Gary, and got squeezed out in that row fairly half a mile. But, um, yeah, her chance was up there. and That's it all over for her for this afternoon. But Casanomento was in a beautiful position, slap bang down the rail behind the pace under Sam Twist and Davis and Danny Mullins in the Greg and Audrey Turley yellow and brown colours is just behind him and they're the pair that come to the fore as they climb up the side of the track Yes, we're still all to play for at this stage, wasn't it? Mayor's walk on the inside of only by night over that one, Paul Tennant did the best he could on spindle reefs from the nurser along but the pace is really starting to lift at this stage the eye is drawn obviously Ruby to got glory is making a run from him behind makes a right mess of two out but she was nursed into it by Danny Mullins just removing his goggles there and he looked as though he was happy enough that he had a target on the winner's back but yeah, she bend. just looked yeah, a little bit did. awkward didn't she? she did her head carriage is quite high but it's quite high before Danny even goes for her Gary I'm not sure it gets much higher uh, Casa Nomento, Sam Thurston Davis now looks to be travelling better than Danny Mullins and ultimately that's the way it ends up but here Danny starts to really get after God glory and yeah, you just wondered would her head come down would she start to gallop but it doesn't her nose is out her head is up and she doesn't really look like she wants to go by Casa Nomento now, maybe that's been a bit hard on her but Casa Nomento finds plenty for Sam Thurston Davis and may have drifted out a bit in front of Danny but he's far enough in front to do so and got glory can't get by Casano Mento to give the British trainers another winner here and fair play to the Twiston Davises for coming very much so as I say it's a yard that has got a bit of history here at the Punchestown Festival not so much in recent times but I remember Nigel winning the Gold Cup when it was a handicap I think Ruby back in the day and he won the champion bumper here King's Road who was ridden by Tom Jinx Gordon Elliott if I'm not Elliot. mistaken my god yeah Back here comes Casanamento drifts no doesn't come anywhere near Gotlory but Gotlory does run away from her um, but Casanamento is far enough in front to come across and runs out the deserved winner Gary from Gotlory in second place and you could see exactly what it meant to the winning jockey as well the Raiders having a good time of things here this week first and third in the full circle series final on the opening day I hope Willie hope. Twiston Davis has a couple of flights booked home because I can't see him making his one tonight. No, I'd imagine this one is going to be enjoyed to the full by the Twiston Davis and the owners TS Equine. Congratulations to connections of Casanament. A really tough effort there to land our penultimate event. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, the